What's up guys, if you are sick and tired of getting scammed by NBA 2K's packs, make sure to head over to safembamt.com, use code BUGS for 5% off a checkout, and get that cheap, fast, reliable MT that you guys definitely need in this game. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video, and guys, today, we are going to go over the market. We have some new content coming from 2K later. We got the draft packs. We got locker codes and all that good stuff. I'm going to go over the market as per usual. Guys, hit the like goal. Let's hit 50 likes. Comment down below. We're going to run another 50k MT giveaway on stream. We gave away 100k yesterday. So make sure to pull up to the stream at 2 o'clock Eastern. We're going to stream. And then later we're going to have more content. So you know Bugs will be posting some content later tonight. Maybe even a pack opening. But we will see. Draft packs later. Uh, if you guys need MT, buy and or sell MT, hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. Also, we do giveaways on Twitter and Instagram as well. So make sure to follow the socials. Um, yeah, if you need to buy and sell MT, make sure to hit me up. But yeah, we're going to go over the market. We're going to see what's going on. Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. Um, right now, there is a tiny market crash, but it should crash later depending on what they do drop. Hopefully, no LTDs, which is limited time cards. I'm actually going to show you guys... Or uh, talk about what NBA did just tweet out. So, and then we're gonna get into the market. So let's see, NBA 2K21, my team. They has they have tweeted out which team is your favorite future rookie going to say? Stay tuned for the NBA draft tonight because we got NBA draft packs, NBA draft challenges, which shouldn't we should be okay, and a locker code on the broadcast. So we're gonna see a locker code, draft packs, and challenges. So that should create a market crash. Hopefully the draft packs are absolutely fire. Now, I don't know if it's gonna actually be like a JR Smith, if it's gonna be in that set to unlock JR Smith, we will see. But hopefully it's fire, hopefully the market does crash, and hopefully you guys sold your cards, because there should be a market crash. Right now, it's not really the best time to sell your cards. I would say the weekend, if you didn't sell your cards yet, unless you wanna just sell them to rack up your MT, possibly snipe later. No one knows what's really gonna drop, so we're gonna see. But, let's get into the market. We're gonna talk about some methods, some snipe filters, and all that good stuff. So. Shooting guard pink diamond is definitely a, uh, an interesting thing. This usually tells that the market is crashed. Right now, guys, the market is somewhat crashed. This is like a premature market crash, which I do love. So this is right before the market crash is going to happen. It's already starting to crash. So now that's why I'm saying do not sell your cards right now. It's just not a good time to sell. Uh, let's go over diamond glitch. Let's see what's going on over there. Uh, let's see. So Monte Ellis is very, very cheap. In my opinion... I think he's worth it. I think he's worth the pickup. So I'm gonna try to bid on him. Um, let's see if I get. I'm gonna try to get him with a shoe for one. Oh wow, we got outbidded. So we're gonna try over here. I think Monta Ellis is definitely gonna go up in value. So I'm gonna bid like 100k on him. I think he's worth it. Uh, we also got Zion. Zion's around 250k. He probably go up to 300k. So he's not really crashed. Every other car, Tim Duncan's out in value. John Stockton's now a buyout. So Mark is definitely going downhill, guys. It's definitely, definitely going downhill. Uh, this John Stockton got three point shots. So this is pretty interesting, man. We're going to go over the whole entire market, go over some snipe filters and whatnot. All right. So here's some filters I'm going to go over. I think the Aventus filter tonight should be kind of crazy. I don't know what they're going to drop, but here's my predictions. Okay. So looking at the market, right? The Aventus filter is kind of crazy right now. So my predictions, they're going to release the packs, right? They're probably going to release two Aventus, two pink diamonds and two diamonds. Okay. Because they said big things were coming. Big things usually doesn't mean just five cards. Big things means a lot more than five cards. So my predictions that I think will happen is most likely a chance at an Amethyst, Diamonds, and Pink Diamonds. So if there's Diamonds and Amethyst, there's going to be two Amethysts in the packs. So this filter right here, man, Amethyst Cheapest should be most definitely fire. All depends what they drop. I think this filter's fire regardless right now. Um, like I said, I think Tommy G is a good investment, a very, very usable budget power forward that I see goes up in value. Because if you remember, Luis Scola Amethyst was around 4K. He is terrible. That car is terrible. And uh, Tommy G is 10 times better than, um, what's his name? Luis Scola. So I definitely think this filter is going to be good tonight. Um, hopefully they drop an Anthony Edwards. If he has that same jump shot as last year, you know we're talking. You know we're talking because that car last year was absolutely goaded. With that, what was it, base 98, I think it was? I don't even know, but it was something like Wade's jump shot. I don't even know Wade's jump, jump base 98. I'm not too familiar with that, but 
Diamond filter, man. The diamond's cheapest filter should go off today. It's actually doing pretty good right now. DeMar DeRozan does kind of ruin it because he is just terrible. This card sucks. Besides driving, he can't shoot whatsoever. But this is definitely a filter you guys should definitely look forward to actually trying to snipe on. Right now, it's a good filter to snipe on. So definitely try it. But yo, don't forget, we have a stream later. Guys, pull up to the stream. It's going to be lit. We're going to give away 50KMT again. And um, here it is, man. Diamond filter. Definitely a good filter. Depends what you get. Like I said, another filter I'm going to go over is Pink Diamond Eastern. This filter is pretty damn solid. Only thing you got to worry about is Moses Malone. So if you buy out Moses Malone, this filter is going to be money. I know Pete Maravich is someone in the way, but Moses Malone is very cheap, man. If you can scoop him up for like 50K, this filter is going to be money. Unless you don't want to, you could scroll a little bit. There are so many pink diamonds on this filter, man. It just the list goes on and on and on. And even if you want to buy Pete Maravich enabled, that's fine too. He's also a good card to use. He has an amazing three-point shot. He's low-key a budget curry. Um, they both can't play defense, but they could shoot from range. So this filter is definitely up there. We're going to go over another filter, man. Who knows what they dropped tonight? I have no idea. I'm hoping it's LaMelo Ball because you remember LaMelo Ball from 2K20. The car. Ooh, that's gone. Ooh, yes. I don't think that's a snipe. But he will definitely get added to the squad. This card is very, very good. So, wow. Okay, we got Monte Ellis for 100K. Listen, that actually is a snipe, I believe, because Diamond Monte Ellis, he, I literally just got outbidded on one for 100K not too long ago. So, you know what? I'm going to take that. I'm going to hold this W because that card is actually very hard to pull. He's very hard to pull. I'm telling you right now, that is most definitely a snipe. But then again, there's going to be a huge market crash today. So is it worth investing in cards? I think so. I think they're going to release some really good content today. And then they're going to release decent content Friday, which means the market will rise on Saturday and Sunday. That's what's going to happen. And then we also have the 250K tournament this weekend, which I'm going to try to compete in. We're going to try. Um, I'm probably going to lose, but it's worth a try, man. But I definitely think investments will rise this week, man. We should see a lot of cards rising. And right now, man, Diamond Glitch Filter is going to be up there in value. Monte Ellis is definitely going to go up in value. He's a very good card. Decent on defense. Amazing offensively. So, yeah, that's it, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Stay tuned for more content. If you have market talk questions, if you have any good tips, let me know. I'll let my subs know. Have a good one, boys. Peace. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure you hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.